And we're back to another episode of Let's Play PC Building Simulator. I am your host, the RPG guy. Let's get back to it here. Um, because when we left off, we had a whole bunch of shit to do. New rigs that we gotta set up for. Uh, I ordered a PC for me around nine months ago. While it runs okay, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. It doesn't seem to like doing anything too taxing. Taxing, lest it get too hot. My good friend Dr. Waterman and Dr. Wright told me over a sandwich that you had fixed their machines. Could you have a look at mine, please? Many thanks. Dr. Reed. Uh, there's a joke in there. My British humor can only go so far. All right. But anyway, we accept that. It's an easy job. Um, new build needed. Can you build a PC for me? I am hyped for this game I just got, but my PC won't run it. It's called Sid Meier Civilization 6. Minimum specs, my brother has MSI in his PC. He says they're the best. My son's always going about through our work. Okay, so we obviously will accept any PC build that we can feasibly do. Um, but we need to know what we need for Sid Meier's Pirates. Strangely enough, it's not under C or S. It's not under S, rather. And it's the minimum specs. So we actually have a few parts on us. I believe we still have a video card um, that we haven't used. We have two. But he says he likes MSI, I believe is what, what we read. So 980 Gaming 4 LE. So that's a $350 card, I want to say. So let's just assume that that's in there. But we have 1285 to spend. So let's say there's already 350 towards it. It's a 960 card required. Um, 980. This is a much higher card. All right. Let's get to it. Oh, do we have a motherboard? We do. Okay, even better. All right, so let's see here. So we have a motherboard. Um, it's not a good motherboard because I believe the RAM is 2400 on that board, which is abysmal. Um, let's sort by ascending. Let's get into 6400 is the minimum. We, we'll move things around. As we need to. <clears throat> cooling. We don't have cooling. Let's get cheap cooling. Got a motherboard. Let's go with 16 gigs of RAM at 2400. I, I can't envision why we couldn't afford that um, for this particular rig. So, 130. Boop. Graphics card. We have that. Storage. Solid state. Power supply. 550. In a case. Antic. So it's all in there. So if you add in the 350, that puts us at 850 minus 30, so 820. So 820. Fucking A. <laughs> Why not? 36 gigs. Um, processor, I don't want to mess with. Power supply, it should be fine. So this should be a good rig. Um, let me do the math here, though. Uh, 260, 380, 390, um, 395, 45, 600 plus 3 is 350, so 350 is a, so we're at about 950, I can't believe that's true. I think that's correct though. 950 plus the cost of the motherboard. So 950 plus 170. Um, that's 1020. So yeah, we're pretty much there. We don't I don't think there's anything we need. Could put in an upgraded case fan maybe for the back of the for the back of the computer that it's coming with it and then we have another fan on us. Um I think we're good. We will meet this requirement. Okay. Again, aiming high. Um, upgrades to my rig. Are you available to upgrade my computer? I'm hoping it'll be able to benchmark 1314. Hmm, that's really low. I'm hoping for 16 gigs of memory. If you can stretch it to that, could you get it done by in eight days? Now, it's not as quick as it used to be. I'm a total AMD fanboy. 1314. And he's at 1289? Okay, well, let's get the A Data 3000 here. Um... Uh, do, 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 do. So 
Let's just round up to 200. Oh, wait, that's 16 gig. God damn it. Uh, it's cheaper to... Uh, it would be a lot cheaper to just get the 3,008 gig. So 105. So 105. So let's just say 100. And then processor. It has to be processor because he wants an AMD. And I, he has an AMD. Um, so what do we really have to spend here is we have 185 bucks to burn. So in with that said, $185, huh? Hundred and eighty five. Well, we can't break the two hundred. We don't have enough to go to the five five uh hundred fifteen hundred X. Oh wait, no, no, we have two eighty five. So fuck it. We'll go right here with the over one we can overclock if we need to. Um though he doesn't have much of a power supply. I'm actually worried about that power supply. To a degree. Um <clears throat> And he's already got a 1400. We don't have to overclock it. Let's see if I get this and it doesn't work out. Let me think of the wattage here. AX370. We'll come back to this. I, you gotta be careful with some of this. AX. Okay. Um, it's not really gonna say what its draw is. I would say then that it's nominal. Yeah, it doesn't say what it's. If it does say what it draws, I'm not finding it like right away. Um, which kind of sucks because I would like to know its electricity draw. Everything draws electricity. Memory. How about that? We can maybe look there at the three thousand range. It just says it consumes less power, but it doesn't actually describe what. So I would just say we should worry about his video card, which is low. It's very, very weak. So I, okay, I, you know what? We're going to risk it. Worst case, we got to buy the cheaper one and we put the, the expensive processor in another rig later down the road. Um, so we'll go with the 1600X against my better judgment. Sometimes you got to be a rebel. Uh, but yeah, no reason to upgrade the video card because you. This is actually a trap. It's a beginner's trap, be, if you're not reading through these, because you'll put in a video card easily surpass thirteen, fourteen, and have the sixteen gigs of RAM, but it won't. You there's no AMD video cards in, available to us. Dear sir, madam, I want a higher clock speed for my PC. I really want the CPU to overclock to thirty nine fifty megahertz. My kid. Using it, I'm getting some weird problem. It sounds always going about 3D Mark. What is that? So this one's actually a tough one because we have to overclock this dude's rig. 3950. Well, let's look at the Ryzen 7 really quick. Is this X or regular? It's regular. So it's already 3700. Hmm. Interesting. What's in here? So there really isn't anything we can buy to assist with this. His machine's pretty rigged up, pretty, pretty beefed up. Um, and there's some golden rules when dealing with, with wattage and voltage. If you put the voltage up too high, you'll fry the, the, the component. Now, you don't have to get 3950 on the money. You, you, can, you need that or higher. Um, but his budget is only $10, so t that's nothing. <clears throat> you can't buy jack crap with that, except maybe a fan. So maybe we'll buy a fan so we can say we use that budget. And it's $10, so it has to be a cheap one. Boop. And we accept. So, this is all ready to go. This Bland James one's going to be a pain in the butt. So I have a feeling we're going to have to fiddle with that one a little bit more than we would normally want to. Let's go ahead and order all of this stuff for the morrow. Let's power down the rig, turn off the light. Let's go ahead and change and make day to night. Or night to day, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so... We got our parts. I'm going to probably grab the overclock rig because this is going to be the much more temperamental rig here. Because voltage is going to play a lot into the success of this. We're going to make sure that it also has 
the this thermal paste. I want to make sure because, like I said, there's a very high chance that you can blow out the uh, the uh, com the computer, and you know that would just be devastating. Um, and we'll talk about how to do this as best as I can walk you through it. Um, but yeah, it's an issue. Um, oh, and you know what? While we're here, we did buy a fan for this, didn't we? Let's not, let's not put it in yet, because that's more for keeping the... Yeah, let's not put it in yet. And before we mess with anything, we'll remove the viruses, and we'll remove, you know, we'll remove the viruses. That's what I, I hate. I hate fucking with the powers, the CPU, because we could be out some money on this. And that's if we have to replace something we break. And we, you don't put that at cost on the customer, it's not their fault, theoretically. Oh wait, I don't want to go in the BIOS yet. Let's remove the prawn. The known issues of prawn can be found in the natural habitat of your hard drive. Alright, let's go ahead and enter the BIOS here. So, let's go to CPU. I'm never good at this, and I know there's a really good way to do this. Again, I'm not familiar with it. We're just going to go balls deep. But the idea is that voltage, you don't, it says don't go above 1.5. Um, you can go probably up to 1.6 without doing too much damage. Now we got to change the ratio or the base clock. Whatever gets us up there. So you can see the ratio isn't going to get us up there very quickly. But the base clock, same kind of problem. Um, we can do these in combination with each other. You notice how many I have to do just to get it there. Oh boy, uh, we don't want, we want to make sure this is off because this is going to pull more voltage as well. Um, I don't want to go higher. Hmm. What does he want? Nine thirty-nine fifty. Thirty-nine fifty-nine. So it's okay. So there we we have the number. We're over the number he wants. You can see thirty-nine fifty. Da 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 da. Um, let's go ahead and save changes and apply the restart. And it says that it's there now. That is a misleading sack of shit. Because you have to ensure that you can that you can benchmark it. And this is where it breaks. If, if It could blue screen, which is normal. Blue screening is fine. It would have blue screened already. So, cool. Now, there is a software we can use to fine-tune this a lot better. It's called OCCT. This is pr if we're going to start getting jobs like this, we probably are going to want to buy that software. We'll let that run and hope for the best. Let's turn this on. Uh, but yeah, it's usually a voltage issue. And you have to be careful because if you put too much voltage to the processor, you're going to burn up the processor and then it turns into a broken processor. So, <sighs> not a fan. Not a fan. But you notice it's going pretty smoothly. I want to actually use that fan we bought. <laughs> I know it sounds bad, but I don't want to get charged for a fan. Or not charged, but I don't want to be responsible for a freaking fan. So, we can just plug it in really quickly. It shouldn't affect the wattage too much. Because it's a very cheap, low-grade watt. And if it does, eh, it does. But it, normally it would blue screen right around now if it wasn't going to work. So, that's a good, that's a relatively good sign. Um, let's do this dude's rig here. So this is the guy with the weird upgrade that we're hopefully going to be able to do with little fuss. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What am I doing? He needs a processor change. Uh, processor broken. And it would be you. It had to be you. It had to be you. 
Now, if you're not as big of a risk taker as I am, you could have bought both processors. And then just find a computer later to do do that, use that on. All right. Now, before we get too far, we got to make sure we change the RAM, because that motherboard should be able to support at least 2,800, if not higher. It's looking good over there. I'm actually excited. We don't have to maybe dick with that for too long. It looks like it's getting to the end. Do, 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 Because that's going to guarantee we get the number we need to, for the performance on this. Okay, so 2,933 is the most we're getting out of this board. That's fine. It's still better than nothing. Um, and then the rest of this should be fine after some testing. And it looked like it made it nice. Do do freaking sweet. Holy crap, that's freaking sweet. So we, we lucked out with that beast. Um, but yeah, so that's the general gist of it. Again, there's a better uh, tool you can use to kind of fine-tune it. But it's not fine-tuning in the sense that you think. It's actually, in a way, more dangerous because you can burn out the processor more quickly if you're not careful um but yeah there is a there is a way to do it rather simplistically here you know i gotta use the bathroom so i am gonna make a little pause here I'll well i hope you guys enjoyed that video please take a moment to check out more episodes from the rpg guy tuesday night team up and more and please subscribe always support the channels you enjoy watching and while you're at it follow us on twitter facebook and google plus keep on gaming hard See you next time.